Okay, I think starting today, I'll do a series of tutorials on soft body physics. I've already covered rigid body dynamics using the new version of Blender 2.66, and those are already in a playlist, but I think I'll do the same thing with soft body physics and kind of cover them in detail. And the reason being is that they're a little difficult to get a hold of. I've used them extensively in the past, and they're a lot of fun. The only problem I found with them is that they're quite CPU intensive, all right? So I tend to avoid them and just use rigid body dynamics in the game engine or otherwise, but they are very cool. And this is really geared towards intermediate users, so you should be grounded in a lot of the basics. So I'll show you what I have set up here, just a couple of cubes for starters, and we'll kind of go through it step by step. So if you're even a, you know, a moderately new user, you'll be able to follow along. All right, so in this case, I'll go over to my object data tab here, and I already have a vertex group set up, but let's go take a look at it. And it, basically I had highlighted all the points in here, and I gave them a weight of zero. And we can verify that in weight paint mode. They're all blue, like that, all right? So then, and I just name it's called group, like this. And then the same thing up in here with this one. I go into this object here, go into edit mode, and I called this one group two, and it has a weight of zero as well for all of the points. And when they're weighted, weighted with zero, they're free to move. So if I was to put a wind force in the scene and blow it towards these objects, they would take off. If it was set to one, if these were all set to one and the wind was blowing at it, they'd just stick right there in place. They wouldn't move. And the same with gravity. If this was a one, these wouldn't move. And in order to fix it, you have to actually, well, actually let's do it. I'll just do it in case you're not familiar with it. I for all these points I'm going to assign a value 1. Once I've changed the value here I actually have to assign it like this. And then I'll leave here and then I have to make it a soft body object. So I'll go into the physics tab and over here I've created a soft body by clicking here and then coming down into here I had to set right in here so the soft body goal I have to actually pick the group, the vertex group like that in this field in order for those weights to be effective. And the same with this one here. I had to come into this soft body goal and pick the vertex group associated with that as well. All right, so these have all ones and these have all zeros. We'll get to these soft body edges here down here in this tab area in a minute. And then the other thing I have set up on here that is, uh, I have this is a collision object it actually, that green tells me it was a passive object, so I don't need that. It's just a collision object, since I'm only using the soft bodies at the moment. This is set as a collision object, so it can collide with the surface, and this one as well. But it's not going to move, because it has a vertex weight set in place. So if I run Alt-A, you're going to see that guy moves, kind of bounces through the plane. We'll deal with that here in a second. But that doesn't go anywhere, all right? And that's because of the vertex group. So I'm going to stop that. I'll come back in, go back into edit mode with these. I'm going to reassign, give these a weight of zero, reassign them, go back and press Alt A. It has to start back at the beginning. And now you see they're both free to move like this. All right. So now I intentionally have this set so it's kind of, even though it has collision set here and collision set here, that's kind of it's not really going through it it's kind of compressing upon itself because what it is you have all these edges in here that are basically defining how stiff it is because that's really what these soft bodies are that's why it takes more time you have to check all the points along around the edges to see what's bending so let's go into here and then down here here's my collision tab there is set up and then down here under soft body edges down in here, I have that one I have set to stiff quads, and I have this push and pull cranked up to 0 0.999. I'll cover the details of it here in, in a second. And this one, I don't have any stiff quads on it. I have it loose. I have this 0.5 for the pull is basically how far it can stretch, and I left that at the default setting. But for the push setting, basically it means how far each one of these edges are able to compress. And so at zero, they're able to compress fully. That's why when I run the animation, it just com it's compressing on itself. In fact, if we look underneath, it might bleed through, but you shouldn't see it there, right? Because it's got collision detect. It's just compressing upon itself. All right. So what I'm going to do is now with this, 
just by changing this push setting. We're just going to do like these one at a time so you can really get a grasp of it. So when I change this push setting, I'm basically saying uh, it has a little extra stiffness to it. It push, Even though that says stiff, it's not the same. This kind of stiffness is for uh, diagonal values across the corners. But this is for these edges like this. So even with that little bit of push setting, I'm saying make it slightly more stiff on that side. So let's run it now. When I first run it, it doesn't do anything. You have to bring it back to the beginning. I click there. And you see how it's compressing, but it's not as much. Okay? And the other one's going to fall over on it. So let's give it a little more. Like this. And you see how it's not compressing as much. Right. So this one being stiff up here, this one, if you look at the setting in here, I have that completely stiff like that. So it can't compress on itself. But this one here can compress because the value is set so low. All right. So just practice that for the first part of the lesson. You know, practice creating a vertex group, setting the values, making sure because when you first see it, you're going to come in and it's going to look like this. You're going to, when you get a soft body, you're not going to see these opened up. So you have to open those up. And you're also not going to have the collision set. So you're going to have to set collision on each one of them so they collide. It's not the same as using the static over here for the rigid bodies. All right. So work on that for starters. And then we'll continue with there. And there's going to be, I'll do quite a series of lessons over the course of the next week or 10 days, or maybe even a couple of weeks. And I'll show you what they're all about. They're really cool and fun. And now, well, since my computer these days is only about three years old. Well, it's a lot better than the other one that I had that was really slow with soft bodies. Okay, well, this is, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next lesson.